Okay. So you guys hear me, right? Yes. And you can see my um my uh my share and view too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I think thank you. I think I let, let me turn the videos more better to to hear and they're not clocking anything. Okay, so <clears throat> which I mentioned before, right now we have to um you know you know like do the different subject right now. Um every chapter we have a different subject and different, different, totally different. Um each section or each chapter, we learning something different. Like for this time, um, we will learn about uh, the percentage, which really helpful for you guys when you um do um you know like for finance or loan or student loan, uh, do the mortgage, and we can um turn it that to to the percentage. Uh, we don't have is the color today, right? Okay. Um, so <clears throat> go for the eight point one percentage. So we will uh, let me see. Example one: We convert the following fractions to percentage. So first. What we do, we have to remember from the fraction to the percentage. So we have to do, um, we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Um, the step number two, we, huh? mul we multiply the decimal by 100. Mm -hmm. after hey, we um, get the someone's trying to talk. Yes. Who who tried to talk? Um, that was my mistake. Um, you can continue. Sorry about that. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, <clears throat> and we we try to uh, multiply the decimal by one hundred, and we add the percentage. This means when a fraction we must be divide become a decimal places, and our quotient become the decimal place. And in our quotients, we have to multiply by 100 and uh, we have to add the percent size. Uh, for example, six, um, 67 divided by 100 and we get numerator 67 divided by 100. So we got as 0 0.67. And the step number two right here, we multiply with the 100 which was we got the 67 and then the third and the third one, the third step, we add the percentage on the percent size. So this one become a 67% for this. <clears throat> and like we have 11 divided by 20. So 11 divided by 20, um, I know 11 cannot divide by 20, but that is zero. And we add another zero on 11. So 110 divided by 20, we get five. And we remain at 10. And we add another zero in. And that is the 100 divided by 20. So that is 0 0.55. And we multiply that one by 100. And we got a 55 percentage. So I know everybody know is this one just a basic um convert the fractions to the decimal places and then we can um turn into the percentage. <clears throat> 15 divided by 16. So 15 divided by 16, I have a 0 0.9375. And then I multiply that one by 100. So I move the decimal place at one, two. So I get a 93.75% for this.
any question for this? So this one is really convert the fraction to the percentage. I mean, we did not um, divide numerator by denominator and we get a quotient. My co our quotient is the decimal places. And then we multiply one um, by 100, which we can move to the left two units and we can attach with the, the percent size. So this one, um, as I mentioned before, fraction divide that to the decimal places, the decimal number. And right now we convert from the decimal number to the percentage. We, step one, still the same thing. Uh, we divide uh, or we multiply the decimal by 100. Or we can say we move the decimal places two place, two units, or two place or two units to the right. Just mean we move the decimal place with two units to the right and we add the percentage. For example, 0 0.15. So um, 0 0.15, step one, we multiply by this one by 100. This means we move to the right two units. So this decimal places right here, one, two, So uh, we move the decimal place one, two, so which we have as 15%. Like for B, 0 0.756, we convert to the percentage. Same thing, we multiply that one by 100. This means my decimal places one, two. So I got the 75.6 percentage. Um, and for C, I get 1.239 turn into the percentage. I know it's so weird. We have a decimal places right here, one, this one, whole number. We still do the same thing uh, no matter what. So you see this, this decimal places right here, from here, we move one unit, two units. So this one becomes 123.9%. Because the decimal, this decimal right here, so we got a hundred and a uh, hundred twenty three point nine percent. And hmm. hold on, yeah. <clears throat> and convert the percentage to the decimal places. How how do we do? How do we do is convert that to the percentage to the decimal places? We have to do the same thing. Remember when we say um, from the decimal to the percentage, we multiply. But this one, we divide, divide the decimal by 100. Or we can say we move the decimal point two units to the left. And then we remove the percent size. Remember, we multiply uh, for from the decimal to the percentage. We multiply by one hundred, or we move two units to the right, and we add the percent size. But this one, we reverse. We divide that one by one hundred, or we can say we still move decimal plate decimal point for two units, but this. Uh, this one we move to the left and we remove the percent size. So we have as 35%. This means we divide 100. We divide 100. This means my decimal place right here from a, uh, the end of the five right here, we can go this and we move two units to the left. One, two and the decimal place here in front of there they have nothing this means we have 0 0.35 in the decimal place 69.8 uh, percent we still do the same thing divide 100 
divide that one by 100. Um, oh, why they have to do that double time? I don't know. Um, we still divide that one by 100. This means we move the two units to the left. One, two, we get 0 0.698 without a percent size. <clears throat> How do we do this? This one, one half percent. So remember this one is the fraction, but this one really complicate for, for us to do it. So instead of we live in um, one half, this one, the fraction, we turn this one, one half become 0 0.5. So we turn this one to 0 0.5. One half, we turn it to 0 0.5 percent. And we do the same thing. Now we're back in here, we do the same thing. Divide that one by 100, or we can say move the decimal places, two place, two decimal pl uh, points, unit to the left. So we moved here, so we have, one, two, so which in empty right here, we have to add another zero and dot and 0 0.005. Because right here we say one, two, but right here, nothing. It means we have, we can add another zero in there. So one, two and zero, uh, and right here, so this mean at right here, we have one, two, so we get 0 0.005 with half percent or 50, um, like 0.5%. Um, any questions so far? Was this nobody say anything? I mean, I assume everybody know this. Uh, fill in the plan. 5.8 to the decimal places. Really easy. You our calculators, right? So 5 divided by 8, we got as 0 0.625. 0 0.625. And we turn to the percent. Instead of we divide, um, we, um, Multiply now we can move to the right two units so one, two, and attach it to percent. So we have as uh, so we move one, two, so we have 62.5. Um, Oh man. So we have 62.5%. And nine divided by 20, the decimal places we have already. So we have as 0 0.45. So we could move the decimal places one, two. So this one has become 45%. A quarter, of course, everybody know a quarter that's 25. If we do with the with a dollars bill, so um with a dollar, uh, one dollar is mean a hundred cents. So zero point two five, it means twenty five cents, and the percent is twenty five percent. Two three quarter, so it means look like we can treat like the money. It's one two do two dollar and three quarters, three quarter which is we got. 75 cents. So 2.75 and we get it the percentage become as 275% for this. Um, any question for this? And don't worry, I record it and then I will uh, repost this on, online. Or you can um, have my um, I, I already have the lecture notes uh, recorded online already. Um, if you want, I can post this up today too for this one. <clears throat> so we have example, another example. Out of 
34, 96 people who respond. And we get 10, 17 uh, say the average 80 is the old. What is the percent respond believe the age eight, um, the age 80 is old? So basically we um we ask we do the surveys for 3496 people but 1017 people they answer is the age of 80 is old so right now we want to know what is the percentage so we we do 1017 divide for uh, 3496 and we multiply with 100 and we attach with the percentage. Uh, when we use a calculator uh, for 10, 17 divided by 34 and 96, uh, we have as 0 0.2909. Um, and we multiply that one by 100, which we can say uh, we move the decimal places. So we can say we, we move the decimal places one, two. So right here, the decimal place right here. So we have a 29, um, 29.09%. Which uh, they believe is the 80 is the oldest. No. Right now we live it here. We, we said it's more than that. It's this one, 80 is nothing. Because I have um, my colleague, they is 80, 83, 84, they still have the class. They never retire. They don't want to take a retirement. So when they don't want to take a retirement, I can take I cannot take that job. So it's so weird. So anyway, so we have a percent change. Percent increase or decrease over the periods of time determined by the following of the formula. So I know the percent increase or decrease. I know is we almost to get like Black Friday. So they say percent decrease, we love it. What, especially for the all the female. Uh, I can say male and female, both. Uh, we love it. So we have a formula for this, percent increase or decrease. We have is amount in the last period minus amount in the previous period. Um, divide amount in the previous period time 100%. Or I can say amount the last minus amount the first divides amount the first. That's how I, I'm, I'm easy to remember because all the work like this, I'm not as good with the English. I'm good with the science. So whatever the short one for me, too easy to remember that. So example six, uh, a team A won 81 games. I'm sorry, can in... you go back to the last screen? I didn't get the full formula. Okay, no problem. I know it's the formula you can say amount of the last minus amount of the first divide amount of the first multiplied by 100%. Are we good? Yeah, I'm good now. Good now? Okay, no problem. So we have as uh, and uh, a team A won seventy one games in twenty o four and seventy seven games in twenty o five five the percent increase increase in the numbers of game one by the team A from 04 to 05. <clears throat> Remember the formula we have is increase 
or decrease. Remember, we say uh, the pH for the, um, the first, no, the last minus the first divide with the first. Remember, it's in the short way to remember. If you don't want to remember that, that you can say uh, amount of the period uh, of the last period minus amount of the period period divide amount of the period period. I know Christmas time, so um, you can remember that that too. So. This one is the last, this one is the first, and the last minus the first, divide with the first, multiply 100, which we can say 100% or multiply 100, and we attach with the percentage. So this one should be positive because seven, 77 minus uh, 51. So this one we have as, um, we have like 20, 24, 24 divided by 51. So this one approximately almost like around 50% or 50.98. It means we get a 0 0.5098 and then we convert that one to 100%. Or you can use your calculator multiply with 100 and they go with this and make sure, don't forget, attach with the symbol size, percent symbol size. So first we do 77 minus 51. Yes. And then divide by 100. Oh, no, divide by 51. This one, the last minus the first. Divide, mm -hmm. divide the first, multiply by 100. The last minus the first. Divide the first, multiply 100%. Plus, minus yes, the, only that is the thing is I remember, easy to remember. The last, the number last, okay, okay, minus okay. the number first, divide the number first and multiply with the 100, whatever the, whatever the product, whatever the solution is, we ask with the percentage. Got so, it. yeah, so populations in the small mountain town increase from 840 to 882. What the percent increase? Same thing. Which one is the, the last? 882. This one is the first because from this to that, two, this means this one is the last. So this one minus this one divided by this one and multiply by 100. Remember, this one is an increase. So it means our subtract method. Oh, this one should be become a positive because that's an increase. Increase means always positive. So that's why I say um, 822 minus 840 divided by 840 times 100. So um, I have a 5% increase. It's been zero point zero five after we um we um do the numerator and divide with the denominator so zero and we multiply one hundred of course use your calculator and we can easy we can see that remember when we use the calculator make sure when you write out something must be attacked with the percent because they ask for the percent don't forget percent simple. Example eight. In twenty o two, sales is two thousand. No, actually two million four hundred seventy five thousand. And in twenty o three, the sale drop. Make sure this one drop. This mean, of course, they add for the percent decrease because they drop. The drop is one million nine hundred fifty thousand. So this one, because from this to this, so this one is my second numbers. My second number minus 
the first number divide the first number. I know this one should be the negative because drop, this means the negative or they be they say percent decrease. So this answer, our answer must be negative size. So we have as 1 million, 950,000 minus 2 million, 475,000 divide 2 million, uh, 475,000 um, multiply 100. So the decrease, we got minus 21.2%. Or if without the, we can write out without the, the minus size, we can say the decrease, 21.2% decrease. If we write out without the decrease, we, we must be have with the minus size because show we lost the pen, uh, profit or they decrease decrease, percent decrease. <clears throat> Any question for this? Is there a certain place that you want us to round it to? Because I've noticed the last couple ones have been like inconsistent with what place we're rounding to. What routing? The... Like the percentage, because this one is like, um, it would be okay. like 21.21. But do you want, oh, and some of the other yeah. ones have been like 50.98. Like, is there a certain place that you want us to round? Oh, to? Uh, the maximum is two, um, wh when you get is two, two decimal places. Or if in the, in the questions, in the question, I'm always say how many decimal places for percent. Whenever in the decimal, in the, in the, the question, they always ask, but usually, Usually, percent two decimal places look like um look like cents right one hundred one hundred becomes a hundred cents one hundred cent look like two decimal places for this uh because this one they deal with the money so that is the thing we can route it up with one decimal places two decimal places. But in the question, really clear how many percentage you need to input in your answer. Okay. So um, <clears throat> any question before I go this one? See, look at this. Route to the nearest 2%. You see this? So um, usually, this one, because this one deal with the money, usually two decimal places, 4%. Uh, the gas goes gross from uh, $3.46 to $3.83. In five months, what is the percent increase for the price gasoline? So from this to this, and they say percent increase. So yes, should be the positive way. So this one minus this, divide this, multiply by 100. So 383 minus 346, divide 346, multiply per one, um, 100. And because they say nearest 2%, the decimal with the money. So two decimal places when we do with the money. Wouldn't the nearest person percent wouldn't that be a whole number um they because it's not saying to like the nearest decimal or like nearest like near, hundreds place or anything but this one because we deal with the, the money so two decimal places or you can route up to 11 percent it's fine it's fine okay so 11 percent or 10.669 percent it's fine for this for the example, but in the test, they tell you specifically, okay? Don't worry for, for the decimal places in, in, um, in the test, they tell you exactly how many decimal places. <clears throat> okay, so we have, this one we deal with the monies again. 
always when we deal with the money, we need two places for the decimal uh, for the percent or two two decimal place if we want the money. We should know that this one is because this is a dollar. We deal with a dollar. Yolanda percent salary is thirty six thousand five hundred. She get increased seven uh, percent in her next year. What the new salary would be? So, what do you think by this? Can you think the way to solve the problem? Use the formula. Um, this one is from algebra. I think is the uh, pre-algebra that that I call or oh, algebra. If in um, if in high school, I think foundation algebra for foundation or something like that. But this one in here they say pre-algebra. So this one we we can say as um, what what do you think for this? We're looking for the increase. What is the seven percent? In this money, in thirty six thousand five hundred, what is the percent for that? This mean we must be turn this one to decimal places. Seven percent must be when we do calculation. Do not live in like this. We must be turn this one to zero point zero seven. This one multiplied by zero point zero seven. And whatever the um that is we we find out seven percent out of thirty six five hundred thirty six thousand five hundred. So the next year her salary, Yolanda's salary will increase two thousand five hundred fifty five dollars, and they want to know what will her new salary. This mean this amount of money increase plus whatever the salary she has right now. That is, we can add it up. And this one for her new salary for the next year will be next year because her salary increased for 7% of this. This means we get original, whatever her salary is, plus for whatever the 7% 7, 7 out of 36,500. This means we get 2,555. So we add them up. So this one is her new salary for the next year. That's how they, um, they're increasing. Any question for this? Question, question. Okay, no question. I will go next. So percent makeup and make a mark up and mark down. It's same thing. Percent increase and decrease or decrease. Same thing. Um, so we have as the formula. Same thing. Uh, because this one we talk with the the percent for the money we selling so they say the selling price minus the dealer cost over the dealer cost multiplied one hundred percent so that's same a same um same like we had it before but they use a different word they use with a different word for this. You okay, Kenny, for this? Uh, just give me one second. Okay, yeah. Yep, okay. We have example. So a store B, a store B pay $48.79 for the door, uh, for the doors. The regular sell 
price is 79.88. So 5% mark up. So what is the percent mark up? This one is selling price. And this one we can call as the dealer cost for this, the dealer cost for this. So we say the selling price minus the dealer cost, divide the dealer cost for that. So this one mark up because this one is from uh, 40, like 48, 79 and this one. So that's how they, they try to get money from us. So we have uh, 79.88 minus 48.79 divide 48.79 times 100. So we have as uh, 48, 30 something. Yeah, more than half. So this one is the increase. 63.72%. You see this? When we try to buy something, you know, like, oh, I got an on sale one. Oh, no way. This one is not an on sale one. They always try to, they always try to rip off from us. Consumer always lost the money. Not the, not the seller. Okay, to get rid of the remaining 2010 calendars, uh, Cardian Pharmacy reduced the, the price to $4 if the current cost per calendar was $5. So how many percent, how, how percent, what is the percent marked down the calendar was five dollars to four dollars it's been from five sell to um now to four dollars it's been this one so this mean this one is the cost original cost or the first cost or the um the dealer cost i can say and this one is the uh the the selling price so four Minus five divided by five. So because we lost one dollar, right? They reduced one dollar, one hour five. So we have as uh, 20%. So this one they marked now and they on sale 20% of this. Any question about converts to the percentage from the fraction um, to the decimal places and then to the percentage and from percentage to the decimal places or to the fraction? That's back, back and forth. Any question for that? No. No question for that. And then any question for the price mark up, mark down? Now. Okay. So now we go with this one. It's really important. This one is the we begin we beginning to talk about where am I 8.2? We beginning to talk about personal loan. Remember. I should be play on top. Okay. Personal loan. Personal loan and a simple interest. <clears throat> interest. Always. We know that. If you have your credit card. If you buy something. You learn something. 
they always have the interest, even the student loan, like us, even for right now, me, I still pay my debt for student student loan. I still make a payment for my student loan money. It's a lot forever. It's been the interest, it's been the fee charge to use of the money. Nobody give you a free money. They always let you use the money and they they make you pay on top of the money you borrow or you use that. Simple interest in, include the interest earned only at the end, specific the period time and is the earn on amount of deposit. Even when when in the in the seven account, you still have the interest right there because you put your money in there, you save your money, but the bank they use your money and they give you a little tiny bit of the percent. They pay you a little tiny bit. But when you borrow from them, you pay it a lot. Note the time. Remember, when whenever we use the um, uh, the calculate with the personal loan or the symbol of interest, the times and the interest rate must be the same units. Must be the same units. So the formula say I equal P times R times T. So I right here is mean interest. P that is principal. I don't know I spell right or wrong for principal. Is that a right or wrong? I don't know how to um because um make me confused. Even the principal, like uh the head of the school or uh, the principal for the money you put, you know, you borrow it. I don't know. That's I, make me confusing for that. R, that's my interest rate. T, that's my times. Okay, T, that's my times. So I equal P time R time T. The, com uh, the most common simple interest card uh, um. Ordinary interest for the counting ordinary interest each month. Remember, we have 30 days for each month, 12 months. And usually we have 365 days, but no. In the calculator, we use only 360 because right here, some month we have 29, 28, some month we have 30. Some month we have 31, but they do as only the 30 a day for each month. Even February is not 30 days. Still count for the 30 days for the February. So that's why we become as 360 days, 360 days. And on the due date, the symbol interest notes to borrow must repay the principal plus the interest. Yes, that is student loan. You loan the money to buy a car. For example, we find the symbol back, interest. Please, I didn't get all of that. Got it? Uh, just a few more seconds. Yeah, I know for this, I I had print out for you guys this one, but um, because we're on Zoom, so I cannot give it to you for all these notes.
they're still recorded, right? Though, we yes. just go back and look at the recording too. Yeah, this one recorded. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have example, and we use the the rate. Remember, find a simple interest. The rate in the annual rate, and assume three sixty day in the year. For A, P, this one a principal. This means whatever the money we borrow. This one look like we borrow the money. Uh, three ten. And the interest rate. So when they do not say is um say they just say R equal four uh, percent. This means we just assume that's one for the annual rate. This means one year. Okay. So um remember the important is the years, the rates, and the time. It must be the same units. So this one at annual rate, and this one in the two years. So we have P, e, I equal P times RT. So P we have right here and R turn to the decimal places and T we have two years. So we have 310 times 0 0.04 times two. So whatever um, we um, doing this one should be equal $24. 80 cents. So this one is my interest in two years if I borrow 310 at the rate for the annual rate is 4%. I know this one is what even you say it's small, but no, uh, it's a lot compared with the big amount of money. Um, this one, um, you can do the symbol interest with you borrow, you take a loan for your car. If you buy the new car, so you borrow the money, you can say how much money for the total. I think usually they say uh, five years. And with right now is the, if you good, 5.99%. And you see that's how much you borrow it and you say five years. So you know how much you have to pay the money pay back to them the money. Okay, for B, I have 2,500 with the R. And because this one, the rate, annual, it's been a year, 6.5% for a year. This one, the T, this one, the days, it's mean we cannot use the day because this one, the interest rate, it's the annual. So we have to convert this one to the a year, 90 days. One year is what? 360. So 90 over 360. So we still have the same thing, same um, the formula I equal PRT. So we have as 2,500 times 0 0.065 time 90 divided by um, 360, because 90 days, one year is 360 days. So after we calculate and everything, we got $40.63. See, that's in 90 days only, we pay this much amount of money when we borrow 2,500, 2,500 at the annual rate is 6.5%. It's a lot. This one, I call the Uncle Sam. Always, Uncle Sam rip you up. So the principal again, 1500 and the R370 at seven over 8%. Remember, we must be convert this one to the decimal places. And T, that the, T is nine months. This one, they do not say anything. We just know that is the annual rate. So this one is, uh, whatever is that, this one, one year we have 12 months. So night over 12. And this one, we have to convert that to the percent. So this one is 3.875%. 
and we move the decimal places, two places to the left. So we have the formulas, the same thing. We use this formulas right here, same thing. 1500 times 0 0.03875 times 9 over 12. So this one, you see this nine months, but you borrow only 1500 at the 3.875%. You see only nine months, but you pay more than this. You see, that's it's a lot of money, a lot. So when we try to do something, please, you know, like careful for this. I hope this one you can, um, after we learn this and you can um, management for your money or whatever, just the time you spend the money, something like that. Now we have, P, 587. Now it's the rate per day. See, this one is the rate per day. 0.045% per day. But my T is the month. Remember, we follow with the rate. This one per day. So two months, 30 days a month. Two months, 60 days. Remember, compare with same units with the R, with the interest rate. So with the rates, okay? Same units. So we must be convert this one to days, 60 days. So we have the same thing, I equal P R T. I, I equal P R T. Remember this one, two months must be converted to the days because the rate, this one is per day. So 0 0.045 and then we move two decimal places. This means we add in front of that two more zero. So which we have one zero right here. So we add two more zero and 0 0.000 four, five times 60. And this one we can come up with, this one only two months. So the interest rate, $15.85, which is a lot of money it's already. Even um, we take, we borrow a small amount and with a little bit, I can say a little bit of the percent rate. Okay, so we good? Are we good? Yes. Okay, thank you. So Kevin borrow 2200 from his grandparents to have the corrective eye surgery. And his grandparents give him 18 months to repay the loan with the annual symbol interest rate, remember annual 7.5% to cover the loss, um, having the money and interest that invest. So the principal first, he borrowed 2,200. And with 18 months, So, and annual interest rate. So 18 months annual, it means we have to convert to the a year. Remember annual, it means one year. This one is the year. So 18 divided by 12, because one year we have the 12 months, but this one 18 months. So divide with 12. And then the interest rate, so we have a R equals 0 0.075. So we still have the, the same formula. Five, the simple interest, same formula. I equal P R T. P R T. 
So we got we have as two hundred forty seven dollars and fifty cents in eighteen months. That is the interest he paid to rent parents. So find the amount will be at the end. It's been this amount of money plus this amount of money. That is the money Calvin pay to the rent parents. So 2200 plus two, um, 247.55. So he paid back as 2447.50. So it's mean like after 18 months, um, he paid back for his parents is $2,447.50. Uh, when he borrowed 2200 in 18 months, the annual interest is 7.5%. We good? Yeah. Okay, thank you. John borrowed 240 after one month. He repaid the original 240 plus $48 interest. What is the annual interest? Remember, we have this one at the principal, right? That's one at the principal. And only one month. So this one is the times. One month. But this one, they say the annual rate interest. So we want to find out what is the percent for the whole year. This means one divided by 12. And then the interest. This one, he he already know he paid forty dollars, forty eight dollars, on top of this. This one the interest, so they want to know the annual rate. What is the interest rate for this? So we still have as the same thing. I equal P R T. Now we're looking for the R. This means we divide both sides by P R, no P T. Sorry because we're looking for the R, divide both sides by PT. So in here PT, so I over PT. So R equal I over PT. And then now we have the I, 48, P, and this one T. So we have already, so we plug it in. It means 48 divide 240 times one over 12. So um, are you with, good with this or you want to um, see how I put a calculator? Are we okay with a calculator? What's the final the interest rate? What is, so, okay. Okay, let me put with the calculator. Let me look in for my calculators, okay? Just hold on. I will look in for my calculator. I bring up my calculator. Just hold on. I will bring up with my calculator. I have my calculator. Where's my calculator? Okay. Hold on, it's okay. Let me. Okay, let me go with this. So a point, okay, this one my calculator. And this one is my a point two. Uh, where am I at right now? Where's my calculator? Let me. Done. 
Let me share. Let me share um with my calculator. Good. Can you see my calculator? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have right here. Where is that? Oh, this one is uh man. Hold on. A boy. Okay, right here. What is it? A point one. Hold on. Let me stop sharing everything. This one a point. Okay. Done. Okay. Let me stop sharing this because I a point. Where am I? A point two. Oh no. <sighs> Where am I? A point two. Restore. Okay, my A part two right here. And where my zoom? Okay, my A part two. My A part two right here. And my calculator is right here. Hold on, okay? So I messed up a little bit. Uh, A part two right here. Share. And then calculator, and then right here. Can you see it? Yes. See both, or see um, see my calculator too, or no? Um, I can't see the calculator anymore. Um, I could see, now. I can see. Yeah, I can see the calculator. So you can see both. I just no, need the just calculator. One. Yeah. Just, just but calculator. that's fine. That's fine. Just the calculators. Hold on. I try. Now is the not calculator. Now is okay. Okay. What happened to my Hold on. What happened to my thing? Okay. Let me go this. Okay. I know it's so weird. Before I share both, but I don't know why is this time is they not share both. Okay, now you can see us, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, now you see this. So this one is the calculations, okay? So you see 48, 4, 8, right? Divide, and you see this? 1, and then I can see, I can put in this another parenthesis right here because I want to doing this so two and this one is two four oh man two four yeah i have to move this one this side up and this one two, two four, four zero zero okay and then i let me close this and I open this, this mean when we open this, this means we don't need to press the multiplication, the size, okay? So we have right here, 
one divide 12 and we make sure we okay this one close this one close we still have one more parenthesis for close right and then and then now i hit the enter this means 2.4 and i multiply by 100 so this one is 240 to attach with the simple size that's attached with the the size right here the percent size that's how you do calculation remember when you say divide and make sure you have to put in the parenthesis for both of this you see this at first i open the big parenthesis and i open another one it mean i enter two four zero and i close it for this and i open another parenthesis i get one divided by 12 and i close it and i make sure uh, open open close this means still one open open this one two open close the one open and close that's still zero must must be we must be do is the parenthesis is whatever we open we must be close it's the same make sure we do that otherwise uh they will give you the error for the calculation okay so any question about for this for this so this one really simple right now you can see my uh my slasher right yeah okay thank you yeah okay so we have there is another type of the, the loan and discount notes and for the which interest pays um at the time to borrow receive the the loan the interest charge events in events in cop bank discount we learn this a lot now we can learn with the bank discount so we have uh, marked took 500 loan with 10% discount notes for um for the period of 3 months so we have to look in for it so how much our interest he must be paid in the bank on the day he received the loan. What is the interest he have to pay in front at the day he take out the loan? Remember, this one he take out a loan, but he had the discount note in three months. So when he took out a loan, he not received $500 right away, but he had to pay the interest first at the bank when he received the loan so this one we can we still do is the symbol interest which we know we know we know i equal p r t and this one is three months so this one is because when we say 10 percent um 10 percent this means we know that is the annual they when they say percentage without mention something on the month or the day it means automatically that is the annual so one year so three months of 12 um one year is 12 months so this is the amount of money the interest for 10 percent in three months 12 dollars 50 cents and then uh, for B, the amount of the money she received from the bank. Remember, she borrowed $500. She not get $500 because she paid the interest loan, which what we have right here the original amount minus interest charge. This means minus this. This means 500 
minus 12.50 and which we got as $487.50. So this one, the net amount she received from, from the bank, this one, the money she received from the bank, she not received this one, but she received this much amount of money from the bank because they took out the interest for her already. already. And now, for on top of this one, the actual interest rate for the loan use I equal PRT with I the interest charge, P the net amount received. Net amount received, interest charge. So this one, we go with really careful for this. So we have I equal PRT. Now our principal is not 500 anymore. This amount of money, $487.50. And then they want to know what is the interest rate for this? We know divide PT on both sides and we have the R. With this, the principal and the interest rate, this one, the I, we have this one. So we have I divide P time T. So this one, we you can see this based on this. It's not 10%. This one get the discount. This one get the discount notes. But she paid this. She borrowed this money, this much money with this much interest. And on top of 10% discount, so this one is 10.26%. That's how amount of money she had to pay after she returned only three months. I know a little confusing. I know that's how the bank got you. Really good, really good money. Remember when, whenever you say, oh, I have a 10% 10, uh, 10 discount notes uh, from the bank. I loaned the money, but I use, 10% discount notes. It means whatever the money, whatever amount of money you borrow it, you not get the whole thing, but you subtract whatever percent discount. And that is the principle. That's the money you borrow, you get from the bank or the bank give it to you. And then with that one, and then you can you can compare with this. So this one is the interest rate they give it to you. I know. Really weird. How is the bank they do it? This one, um, if you uh, learn about accounting, you should know about this one a lot, a lot. If you go on the accounting, it's a lot about that. We good? Okay. So another example, Julie Skensen borrowed 3650 from her bank for eight months. The bank discount note at 77.5%. With 7.5% out of this must of the money. So how much is that? So we can find out. So that's one is the principal she, um, he or she borrowed. I think she, yeah, Julie, she borrowed the money. And in eight months, the bank discount, 
So eight months again, and would remember automatically with the year because they do not say any relate with um how many days, how many year, how many months, uh, no, uh, yeah, how many days, whatever is that. So this one annually, so for the um a month. Now is the unit is for the month. So because we have one year, one year twelve, a month, so eight months must be the same. So this one is the R. So we have a symbol. So how much the interest to pay the bank use of this money? So they say this kind of the money. It means when you borrow this much the money and you already take out the interest and then whatever the money at last, you pay it back. So they based on that. A lot of money, I, I know it's so weird, so headache. So this one is the interest pay in eight months, you had $182.50. And then how much she received from the bank? The bank, they took this money out already. They really, they always take the money, take the borrow the interest first. So we got three uh, thirty six fifty minus four one eighty two point five. So she got only three thousand four hundred sixty seven dollars and fifty cents. So this one she received from the bank, and based on this we can see how much for the interest rate. Now, what is the interest rate for she paid? So this one is the I, this one is the P, and this one is the T. I, P, R, T. R equal I over P, T. So I, P, T. So we can do this. And this one is the interest rate. So we have as 7.89%. You see, compared with the discount loan, I know they say discount loan is 7.5%, less than this, but uh -uh, they not, I'm sorry, I have to say they not stupid. They always smart than you, than us. That's how they make the money. So they the interest rate on this this principle seven point eight nine percent. So on this this much money, not this. Basically, we say, oh, I borrow thirty six fifty. No, you not borrow thirty six fifty. You borrow thirty four sixty seven point five. That is how the bank that is really smart. They try to get the money from you. Any question from this? No. Good. Um, okay, we take short break, five minutes for the restroom. Yes. I can pause this. Yeah. Okay, five minutes for the restroom.
Okay, are you back? Yeah. Everybody? Everyone? Everyone yeah. back? I'm All here. right. Okay, now we go for the 8.3. It's the compound interest. So this one, this one is the good for you calculate when you do investment, when you, I think, borrow the money, buy the house. Um, this one they call compound interest. Just warm up. A, bill, invest. 1,000 at the 6% simple interest annual for one year. How much does he have He does he have in his account at the end of the year? Simple interest, I equal P or T. P 1,000 or 6%, T one year. In one year, so one one thousand times six percent, zero point zero six. One year, just time one. So this one, nothing, just one. So um, he earned um sixty dollars. He invest for one year, put one thousand dollars in, and. $60. So the total, the money in his account, $1,000 plus $60. So the total money at the end, he got $1,060 for that year, for the one year. If for the second year, Bill invest the money has in the account for the first year. The first year he had $1,060. Same thing at the 6% interest for the second year. So how much in account? So right now for the second year, the principal is not 1,000 anymore. The principal is 1,600. So the principal in here, 1,600, because he has in um, account at the end of the first year. So 1,600 and with the 6% and with a second year, another year, just one. So this one, um, the interest for this is 6360, $63.60. And how much the money he has in the end of the second year. So this means this amount of money plus this amount of money. So he has um, $1,123.60. If he continues for the third year, same race, and this one is the new principle for him, if only, okay? This one is new, new principal at this. So they, whatever the money amount add into this. So that's one, the end of the third year and the fourth year, the fifth year, something like that. Look like when you, exactly when you do something for your car, like loan of the car, that's how they total up. It means this is Uncle Sam try to get your money because not even the interest, you get the interest on the interest, which they call compound interest. It's not the interest only, but the interest on the interest. So this one, we just warm up. Look, the second year earn include the interest on the first year, a principal and Interest, the interest that earned on a both principal and the interest car 
compound interest. So this one, we just record a simple interest and earn on a principal. So that's how we just warm up. We use the symbol interest. Now, interest on the interest, we call compound interest. We have a formula for this. Compound interest formula. Instead of we do year by year, we do symbol interest and interest or interest, interest. Instead of we do multiple time, multiple time for that. Now we come up with one formula. So A, they call compound interest. A, that's the amount after T year. Whatever amount after T year, whatever the year is, is like usually 50 years. Well, if we buy the car five years, six years, so this is the amount of the money after the T year, after whatever the years you, you have. T, of course, we know the principle. That's how you, when you buy a car and you put the down, the down money, which was you give it to them. And the principle, like you borrow $10,000, for example, okay? And that's your principle. And with the interest rate, something, um, so this one, the interest rate, usually if you get a good credit, they give you 5.9 in nine. That is the good credit. That's what I heard, but I don't know. Um, they, after the pandemic is, everything is increased. Okay. And it means the number compiled per year. How many year? How many compiled? It means the number of compounds per year. It means like the time you pay for it. And the time in year. Always compound interest. Always in year. Not in month. Not in days. In months and in days. Just a simple interest only. A simple interest formulas only. So this one we got P time one plus R over N raised to the NT. So now our period, the numbers of the time interest is compiled per year. See, this one is the table below. The, if the interest compiled, the number of periods per year daily, we, as we know, 360. Weekly, how many weeks in the year? 52 weeks in the year. Of course, 12 months in the year. Quarterly, we have four quarters, which we have four quarters, yes. So we have four quarters. Semi-annual. We have two semi-annual every six months. Annual, eh, this one is, we know, that's a year, one year. So this one is the table of the number of the times we have it. Now, we have fun with a calculator, calculations and everything. We good? Just one this one I recorded still, still continue record it. Okay, so. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have as Haiti. Invest fifty six hundred in saving account of the interest rate seven point five percent with compound monthly. This one is compound monthly. 
Okay, so compound monthly. So monthly in one year is what? 12 months. One year is 12 months. And we have that A equal P times one plus R over N raised to the NT. So this this in the parentheses right here, this one uh, power NT. So we have um, in 10 years, T, 10 years, N, we know right here already, 12 months. R, this one interest rate. T, that's the principal. Now we have all this. Put it in. Plug it in. And we can do this. So do you know how to do this? Or you want I show you by the calculator for this? You know, you know the calculator? Or you want to show you by the calculator? Can you show? Can I show? Sure. Let me stop this one really quick, okay? So I bring my calculators up. Hold on. Before I stop this, let me, okay. And then. Let me stop this and I bring my calculators up. Okay, I have my calculators up. And then let me bring my, this one up. So can you see both? Yep. Yes. Okay, so this one. Okay, this one's okay. So right here. Oh. You still see my my um Yeah, you're good. You still see both, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, you see this. Where is my Where my, where's my little rat? Hold on. Ah. Where my mouse? Where my little rat right here? Okay, my little rats, they run away. Okay, you see this, 56, 100, right? So let me clear everything. Five six zero zero, and you see this multiply. Make sure, make sure. Remember, you have this one also, okay? So now we multiply instead of put a multiply. I don't, I don't need to do the multiply. I say, ah, uh, yeah, I can say multiply. It's okay. Open my parenthesis. I say one plus. And this one, my fractions. So I must be open another parenthesis, 0 0.075 divide 12 and close parenthesis. So my closing parenthesis right here is mean this bad boy right here. And then I say one open, Two open, one close. I still have one close. No, one open. So even now, you see exponents. Exponents. You see this, the hat right here? You see the hat right here? Click on the hat right there. And I can um, open another principle, uh, the, the parenthesis. I say, 12 times 10. 
So 12 times 10. And I make sure I close everything. Make sure I have a parenthesis. One, two, open. One, two, close, the open. So right here, so I hit the enter. So which we have right here, you see this? 11,827 point. Remember this one we deal with the money. So we get two decimal places. So this one, because this one, so below, so forget that, drop it. Be okay, or you want, I repeat it one more time. I'm okay. Or, huh? Are you okay, or you want, I repeat one more time? I'm okay. So everybody? I'm good. Okay, good, right? How about, um, Sean, Chin, every Cyan, good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So if good, so we will be okay for that. So right here, so we have as, and with the B, now, now you see my slideshow, right? So compute the interest earned. So we have as this one is the total 10 years. Total 10 years, we subtract with whatever the principal we invest. So we earn in 10 years, we put 60, 5,600 in a seven with the 7.5% compound monthly. It means we got the interest every month. So every month in one year, one year, 12 months. So 12 times. And we we left in there for 10 years. The total amount of the money, we got $11,000. A hundred twenty-seven dollar fifty um fifty-six cents. Now we want to know in ten years we put fifty-six hundred in there. So how much we make on top of that? So this one, how much we make? Six thousand two hundred twenty-seven dollars and fifty-six cents, which we must we make in ten years for the compound monthly at 1.5%, the invest 5,600. Any questions? No. No questions? Okay. So example, another example. Kelly again, Kathy again, um, invest 650 and a seven with the interest rate, 8% compound semi, semi, it's mean every six months, semi, it's mean N equal what? So this one is semi. So this one, my semi right here. So this one, my principal. And this one, my interest rate. And this one, my semi, semi, semi annually. So this one, my N equal two. Every year we receive two monthly, two pay of this. So let's see how many years, three years. This means the time in three years. So we do the same thing. A equal P times one R over N raised to the RN. So P 650, one plus 
the rate, interest rate, 8% compiled semi, semi annually, two in three years. So we can do that. So do you want I to use a calculator for this or you'll be okay? Or you'll be okay. Or you want I'm, to use a calculator. I'm good. I'm okay. You yeah. good? You're okay. All right. Oh, who who dropped out? Maybe Sean. Okay. So we have in three years with the total, we have um $822.46. So for B, uh, how much for the interest? Of course, on top of this one a couple hundred dollars, right? So we get this amount of money, subtract with the principal, and we get um, $172.46. Are we okay with this? Yeah. All right. Gene Wolf D. Invest six thousand at eight percent compound quarterly. Remember, quarterly. This means one year we have four quarter, so n equal four. So this one is p, and this one is quarterly. This means n equal four, and eight percent. So this one is the rate. 0 0.08. And three years later on, she withdrew the full amount and used for the down payment for the house. Three years. So T. Three. T equal three. So how much she withdrew a full amount? We still use the same thing. A equal P time one plus R over N raised to the TN, O N T O T N, whatever. So we we have $7,609.45. So this one, she put 6,000 in three years. We have a quarterly for 8% compound. So at the end, she withdraw the money to put the money down for the down payment for the house, 7,600. Nine dollars and forty-five cents. Now, if you guys want to, you know, like invest or buy the house, you should put in the investment right now, and you can have a money for later on after you graduate, and you have the money to put the money down to pay the house, like the down payment for the house. We good, right? Yeah. All right. So Tom need to borrow fifteen hundred to expand the farm, implement, man, uh, maintenance business. He learned. Um, he learned that the local bank will let him. Um, let him lend him the money for two years at ten percent, compound quarterly. After he hit the race, Tom grandfather offered him the money in two years and uh, with the simple interest. Remember this one compound quarterly. This one is simple interest, 7%. So how much Tom saved to borrow money from his, from this grandfather? So, same amount of money, Tom, even he can borrow the money from the bank or borrow the money from the rent father. And in the bank, they have two years and he had to pay compound quarterly in the rates of 10%. Still the same with the rent father. Still a same amount of money, but um, um, the symbol interest rate seven percent. Still the same thing. Two years, 
So let's see how much, which one he saved the money. Oh, he saved the money from grandfather. Okay, we have this one as is the P, the principal, original principal for both. And this one is two years for the bank. Two years for the bank, I said T, B. So the time for the bank. 10% compiled quarterly. So this one, I say R, the rate from the bank. B, that is from the bank. 10%, so 0 0.1. And in the quarterly, so N from the bank, quarter, one year we have four quarters. So this, and then this one, the interest rate from the grandfather, I call the RG at the grandfather. And still at two years, same thing. T, grandfather, two years, it's the same. Same, even with the bank and with the uh, older grandfather. Now we do the calculations, I believe, okay. I divide both. This one from the bank. We do the calculation from the bank first. We use A equal P time one plus R over N raised to the NT. And this one, he got compiled quarterly is $1,827.60. How about for the grandfather? Really simple formula, I equal PRT, because simple interest. And in two years, so we, we do not pay, we pay directly in two years, in two years. Not a quarterly, not compound interest, nothing. We just pay straight in two years. So um, still the principal, still the same thing. The rate different and still at two years. So this one is after two years, he pay only, he paid the rent father. And the rent father is charging him only two ten, two hundred and ten dollars and let let's see as compare with the uh, this so we can 210 plus for the principal we had a one thousand seven hundred and ten dollars and you see this how much tom saved the money from borrowed the the money from from his rent uh, parents or rent father so you can get this money subtract this and you get the answer I don't have that one yet. I don't have that, but we know that. So this one minus this one, we got a hundred something. He saved 100 something dollars if he borrowed the money from grandfather. Any questions? Are we okay with this? I'm good. Good, okay. Almost done. I think two more questions, but we learned the new formula. It's still the same formula, but we go back and forth, back and forth, we place with all the, all the letters. How you find a percent value, what is the investor's amount later? Remember, before we say A equal P times this one, right? Now we're looking for the principal, the P. And this one is the amount of money, the total amount of money, divide whatever the race is. So we just play in with this. And even at first, we're looking for A, now we're looking for P. Remember before symbol interest, we're looking for I, later we're looking for R. We just play it in a row with the formula. We just switch the letter. Ryan will need 30,000 in six years. So how much should he invest? CD, that's the rate 
4.72% um, in a compound quarterly. Okay, after six years, he won 30,000. So he want to know how much he had to put like, I can call the investment or the principal to take the money out for 3,000, 30,000 in six years. So this one is the money, that's one for A. And in six years, six years, that is the T. And the interest rate is 4.72. This one quarterly, so this one N equal four. So we put it back in, do the same thing. So we have as 30,000 divide one plus. So this one raised to the raise to the four point uh, four four times six. Okay, this one a power of four point six, not multiply. This one raise. Um, are you okay with this? Oh, yeah. You need a cal. You okay? Okay. If not, I can show you with the calculators. Okay. I'm I'm okay with that. If you want to, okay. Don't no afraid for that. So we got this. So it put us twenty two thousand six hundred thirty eight dollars and fifty cents. He put at first, and six years later on, he will receive his thirty thousand dollars. Are we okay? Yeah. All right. How much money should the parents invest at the birth of their children, provide the children 50,000 at the age of 18, assume that the money earn interest for 8% compound quarterly. Remember, I know you guys still single when you marry, you have kids, you try to plan ahead of time. You want, you know, like whatever, a $100,000 at the age 80. So how much money? You know, like you put in, in there for the quarterly, you every quarterly you have to put the money in so ever. So they um at 18, so you get this one 50,000. Um, so still the same thing. This one is my A. The money I want it at the age 18. And eight eighteen this mean. The T is 18, it's been 18 years quarterly of the interest. And we know that's when we should, in, um, we should uh, change to the decimal point and the quarterly. And then still the same thing, A over one plus R, over n raised to the tn. So the invest money you want to put in twelve thousand fifteen dollars ninety four cents. Put in there, they get paid quarterly, compiled quarterly at the eight percent, and at the eight eighty eighteen, so get the fifty thousand dollars. So we we'll receive um fifty thousand dollars for that. <laughs> so any questions? No. We okay, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last but not least. The virus Kenner re, uh, recently complete the contractions for the new water towels. The entire cost of water towel is 925,000 and the state pay, um, the state pay um, 30, uh, three, actually 370,000. 
and the total cost is the um, award arrange and addition various delayed pay, the balance cut in 30 years with the pay interest uh, during 30 years with without pay any interest during 30 years to finance the balance. There was more at the time, so um, 598 homeowner at one time flat rate service charge and invest in 30 years for the city and pay 7.5% um, interest compound monthly. Okay, uh, they want to get is the, the water towels. This costs a much of money. This one is the state, they give it to them. So how much for each of the homeowner they put it in to cost us the 30 years, in 30 years of balance and at the interest rate for this. So um, the interest rate um, for the compound monthly. So now we have the R. We have a monthly. So that's 12 months. And this one, the T, that's 30 years. And what is the balance due for the water towels? Remember, this one, total cost. This one is take, pay for it. And whatever the money left, we can, and this five, 98 homeowner share and pay for it. So we get this, subtract this, and we have amount of money. So we have um, 925,000 minus uh, 370,000. And we got 555,000. So this is the amount of money divide whatever in 30 years invest the money for the city after 30 years we get this this amount of money so after 30 years we get um we must be get that so how much for each of the homeowner they put the money in so how much will the uh values uh camp Kepler, Kepler uh, need to invest this time for the CD raise the balance in 30 years. So we have this. So they want to know how much the whole town have to put the money in. So we have A, we're looking for P, we know R, we know N, we know T. Put it in. So this one is not too bad, right? So 50, uh, $58,907.61. So this one, is, we divide in 598 home owner. So how much for home owner have to pay? So this amount of money divide this. Divide 598. And which not too bad. Each how we put in for the invest the city $98.51. It's not too bad, right? But in in three years later on, they can have the, the new water towers. So I know, I know it's not too bad, but compare with, um, because this one, a lot of people, they pay for it. So compare with that. Any questions? No. No question? Okay. I stopped recording. <laughs>